Now once you've firmly burnished the entire surface of the statement, you're ready to remove the transfer tape. Way to do this, start at a corner, going at an angle, and peeling it flat back against the cell, not up and out like this. Then just go slowly. If you find that any of the vinyl is adhering to the tape instead of to the surface, you'll simply need to roll it back into position, firmly rub the letter, and then peel it back a little more closely along this edge. You can also, if you need to, use your finger to hold this letter down while you peel it away. If you find that this is quite difficult, you can simply replace this. And a great tip to help with this step is to actually moisten this transfer tape. You have a couple of different ways you can do this, either using your wet sponge or a spray bottle. Now make sure when you spray the design that you don't let any water come above the top seam of this design because then the moisture can get underneath and get underneath the vinyl, making this step actually more difficult. Once you've gotten the tape fully saturated, you'll notice that it starts to kind of wrinkle up on itself. This is a great sign and it means you're ready for the next step, which is to give it another quick burnish and try again. Remember, you'll want to go slowly so that you can watch this edge for any lifting of vinyl to the wrong side. If you're still having difficulty removing this transfer tape without also lifting the vinyl, please watch the troubleshooting video for removing the transfer tape. Now, if you have a two-part design, we recommend that you leave on any of the leveling diamonds and arrows until you watch the next video in the series for two-part designs. Otherwise, you can simply remove your arrows and diamonds and that's all there is to it.